Hello, Lincoln Learners. It's Mrs. DeRoges. I miss all of you, and I'm hoping we get back to school real soon. Today, I'd like to go over a two-digit by two-digit multiplication using three different strategies. So the first strategy we're going to go over is the area model. Our equation is going to be 24 times 15. Let's draw our area model. We're going to take the first number, which is 24, and we're going to break it up into expanded form. 20 plus 4. We're going to take the second number and we're going to break that up also in expanded form. 10 plus 5. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start with a 10 and we're going to multiply that by the 20. And if you know your basic facts, 1 times 2, that is 2, and then bring the two zeros over for 200. Our next two numbers, our next two factors we should say is 10 times 4, which is 40. Now we're going to start with the 5. We're going to multiply the 5 times the 20. And your basic facts are 5 times 2, which is 10, and bring the other zero down. And then 5 times 4, which is 20. And boys and girls, Everybody knows what these are called. They are called partial products because they are part of the answer, but they're not the product. So we're going to take those partial products and we are now going to add them. And when we add them, our product is 360. The second strategy that we're going to go over is partial products. So our equation is 24 times 15. So we're going to start in the ones column and we're going to go 5 times 4, which is equal to 20. Then we're going to stay with the 5 again, and we're going to multiply going diagonal. So 5 times 2, but that's really a 20. So we're going to go 5 times 20. 5 times 2 is a 10, and 1 more 0 is 100. Then we're going to start on this side. And we're going to go 10, because even though there's a 1 there, that's in the 10's column, times 4. And 10 times 4 is 40. And then we're also going to go back into the tens column. We have one ten here times two tens, which is 20. And 10 times 20 is 200. We're going to add those up. And we're going to get our product, which is 360. Okay, and the last strategy we're going to use is the standard algorithm. So starting in the ones column, we're going to go 5 times 4, which is 20. Drop the 0, carry over the 2. We're going to stay with the 5. Now we're going to go 5 times 2, which is 10, plus 2, which is 12. Okay. Now we're going to cross out the 5, cross out the 2, and we're going to place a 0 under the ones column because we're done with the ones. Now we're going to start with the 1, and we're going to multiply going diagonal. 1 times 4, which is 4, and then 1 times 2, which is 2. Add those two together, and we get 360. So our product, once again, is 360. And those are the three strategies, but remember, you need to practice those math facts. See you soon. Bye.